What's up guys? Welcome to this lesson. Today I'm teaching you how to play Anchor by Nova More, which you probably know because you clicked on this video. But anyway, um, we're going to go to a different tuning. It's a C, G, D, G, G, D. And I've got a nice PDF that I created for this lesson, which you can see here. Boom, boom, boom. It's got all the notes about the chords and everything, the picking pattern that he uses. Can you believe it? That's the picking pattern. Simple. Just like that. And um, the notes with the chords so that you guys can follow along. And we're going to go through all of these things step by step. Even if you don't have your guitar with you and you're watching this video, you are going to learn a lot. So before we uh, get into the lesson, let's just get the tuning right and then we can start playing. Okay, so basically take your first one is going to be C. So you're going to take this string down to C, which is really low, but it sounds really good. So take that down. And you can play with this hand. You can play C here on the third fret. And double check yourself with the tuner. The A string. Oh. Wait a second. I was already in alternate tuning, so just give me a second. I took that down to the B now. So I'm just going to use the tuner to go down to a C. And then the next string is going to be a G. Um, I just taught a lesson on Need to Breathe song Garden and it uses the open G tuning, which this tuning is similar, but just a little bit different. So, and then the G string is going down to a D. What? Is that correct? Yes, it is. It's going down to a D. So we're going to take that down. Take it down slowly, because otherwise your string might slap. snap. No, no. What am I doing? I'm sorry. I've been teaching too much today. So I'm not that on it. The B string goes down to G. Sorry. And the possibilities that these tunings unlock is like crazy. Oh, beautiful. Then we're going to take a capo, put it on the second fret. Yep, there we go. Now that makes this chord an A if you played from the fifth string down. But let me play play it for you quickly so you hear what, what it is that you're actually going to learn in this lesson. Okay, so. So if I take this picking pattern and I take this sequence here and with these chords, I can come up with this thing. Listen here. Bridge goes like this. Is 
isn't that beautiful? That's like so beautiful. I really, I really love this. It's a really cool song. Okay, so G, we're gonna play at the seventh fret with the first finger. Okay, seventh fret. Okay, seventh fret here, and then pinky on the nine. And just so you know, the picking pattern is just like this: thumb on the A and the E string, and then these two fingers on these two. So it's alternating. That's our C, by the way, so that's it's G. Okay, so let's go back to the chords. We got a G chord over here. And then we got our C chord, which is just the same, but you just take off the index finger. that pinky on there and slide it down to the second fourth fret so that you can play your D chord here and then E minor now I keep my pinky there or you could keep take this finger the third finger E minor 7 Back to the G, but anyway, and then C, the C with the alternate version. What a beautiful song. I'm just getting lost in the song. It's so good. Okay, so now you know the chords. The D slash F sharp is just from the E minor. You take this space and take it up to the sixth fret. And the A minor is just at the ninth fret. Okay, so we're going to go through the intros and the verses quickly. It's G, same picking pattern throughout the song. C. Now here comes the D. E minor, G. C. But the C with, the, with here, not the C. Oh. And then the chorus is simple. Oh, sorry. Uh, so that's what they sing. Sorry, E minor. just the back to the intro you'll get the arrangement if you follow the PDF the tag of the bridge is just basically D C And then the 
end of the bridge goes like this. <laughs> to the chorus chords. Wow, a really, really beautiful song to play and really good to get you started in this key. Um, those chords can be like a foundation for so many cool songs. Oh, so cool. Have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Let me know if you enjoyed this lesson so I can know what to make more of.